Good Wednesday, West High. Welcome to this edition of the Wednesday Word. No more Thursday threads. We're back on track here on this Wednesday, the final Wednesday of the first trimester. Hopefully your final exams are going well. Uh, thank you for everything you've done to make the first trimester as successful as it has been. I want to talk real quickly. As you know, the school district is talking about presenting a new policy for high schools regarding cell phone policies and cell phone usage. So that new policy will be unveiled uh, soon and it will go into effect after winter break. What we do know is that there's gonna be some significant changes. So we're gonna start making some moderate changes here at West to get us prepared for that big change coming after winter break. So beginning after Thanksgiving break, uh, there's going to be a few changes made to the cell phone policy here at West. Basically, uh, we're going to have a first offense system. So teachers will say secure your phones and make sure your phones are out of sight in your classes. Uh, they'll give you a verbal warning uh, by the teacher if your phone is out after they've said that. If your phone remains out, uh, the second offense, uh, after that verbal warning, your phone will be confiscated. So teachers will alert the office and somebody will come and take your phone for the day. That's after the teacher has initially said, please put your phones away. And that's after the teacher has given you a verbal warning if you're not complying. So really, um, there should be no reason for your phone to ever get confiscated because you're being asked to put your phone away at the beginning of class. And then you're being directed to put your phone away again if you haven't complied with the initial request. So it's only after those two instances would your phone get confiscated for the rest of the day. So let's not even get to that point. We were, really would appreciate it. And that's kind of where the district is heading to something along those lines. Anyway, all right. I uh, want to give a quick recap. Actually, before I give a quick recap of fall athletics, reminder, since we are at the end of the first trimester, all schedule changes for the second trimester must be done by three o'clock tomorrow. So if you want a change in your schedule, Make sure you go to the guidance office, the school counseling office, and make that change by three o'clock tomorrow. Okay, we wanna do a quick recap of the fall athletic season as it was one of our most successful ever. Uh, just a quick recap, congratulations to all fall athletes and coaches. Emery Crawford qualified for the uh, boys golf state meet. Volleyball made it to the final 16 of the state, making it to the regional final. Uh, football made it to the state quarterfinals, the final eight. Mustafa Tia finished ninth at the State Boys Cross Country Meet. And this past uh, weekend, the girls, finished, the girls swim team finished eighth as a, as a team. Congratulations to Hannah Longmire for winning the state championship in the 50 free and for Hannah Gang for placing fifth in the 100 free. So great, great fall season. Also, our debate team is off to a great start. Uh, Faisan Ahmad and Bashira Taib. Uh, just won the Badgerland Tournament in Wisconsin. And Fizan is also the highest ranked sophomore in the entire country. And congratulations to Eddie El Faid, or Fadil and uh, Yasha Durnev. They've qualified uh, for the Silver Division of the Tournament of Champions, the first Iowa City West team ever to do so. So congratulations to all of our golfers, or excuse me, to all of our debaters uh, for their great season thus far. This Thursday, the girls wrestling team will be hosting Liberty here in the Westside Gymnasium. So come check that out to support our girls wrestling team. All right, it's time for the Hero of Troy Ward. This person is truly the sweetest person ever. You can always catch them when you're having a bad day or just a rough patch in general. They're so welcoming and they treat all students with so much kindness and respect. Every time I see them, they're always welcome you with the sweetest smile. They've helped me so much this semester. I strongly think they should be considered for the Hero of Troy because of what they do for our building. We agree. Congratulations to this week's Hero of Troy winner, Ms. Brock, Ms. Kristen Brock in space. Thank you, Ms. Kristen, for all that you do for Westside students. And now it's time for perfect attendance. And we have student 1293, student 1293. Hey, Andrew Schroeder. Westside Junior Andrew Schroeder, you had perfect attendance last week. You get a free lunch at a restaurant of your choice. Come see Miss Amanda in the main office. We'll get you hooked up. Everybody have a great uh, end of the first try. Can't wait to see you on Monday. Remember, there's no school Friday. Take care. Go West.